Tuesday trivia once again. Yay! We're here to do this is Jeopardy. It's called Jeopardy, uh, right? Jeopardy. These are actual questions, categories, and questions that were asked on the Jeopardy game show. So we each pick two. Mm -hmm. To um, well, we get we get the new list, and there's always six categories, and I grab two to quiz her on. She grabs two to quiz me on, and then they're there for all of you to follow along, and also test yourself, see if you could get them. Um, in each category, it goes from a hundred dollar. It's like a hundred, two hundred, four hundred dollar question, six hundred dollar question, eight hundred, and a thousand. We haven't been keeping track monetarily, no, not but really. no. <laughs> but okay, maybe, so put on your thinking maybe caps. Someday, yes, put the thinking caps on. <laughs> Definitely. So I'll. Should I start? Because last time you started sure. with the question. Okay. okay. So I, the, oh, as soon as I saw the Jeopardy categories, I grabbed this one because I want to test Cynthia's knowledge on this one. She loves Barbara <gasps> Streisand. Oh my god! Loves yeah, Barbara Streisand, fan, and it fan. showed up, and I'm the one that grabs, like our our literature. So I was like, mm -hmm. oh, that one I'm testing Cynthia on, <laughs> big time. So here we go. You ready? It's mm -hmm. Streisand <clears throat> serenades. Oh, that's the category. Streisand oh, okay. serenades. Uh, so oh, that's just what it's on. Streisand serenades. Let's see how much okay. you know about it. All right. First question. Barbara Streisand performs the title song. In the 1973 movie by the same name, lyrics include this line. Oh, God, I did not know I was going to have to sing. Please oh. sing it for me. <laughs> lyrics include this line. <laughs> Memories. Memories. <laughs> like, like the corners of my like mind. the corners of my mind. Oh, see, you should, okay. <laughs> so, what's the answer? Memories. No, the, I sang the lyric. You what movie lyrics? is it from? You said it's... it's uh, it says, Barbara Streisand performed the title song oh. in the 1973 movie by the same name. Oh. Lyrics include this line. Memories light the corners of my mind. So... So, I have to sing the whole song in order to get the title of the movie? I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> because it's not memories. No, it's not. Um... Yeah, the song is and it, the title of the a, movie are the same. That line is in the song. The way. Oh, the way we were. There you go. I helped, her, I helped her a little bit. The she did. The way we, we were. Forgot were. about that. I guess that's the movie and the title of the song. What is the I way did watch we that movie. were? It is a film that tells the story of Katie Morosky, who is Miss Streisand, and Hubble. Gardner, who is ooh, Robert Redford, from the 1930s through the yeah. 1950s, and their intersection of their lives. Robert Redford was ooh. very, very good looking back then. Well, he's, he's still, even so. He still got it. All right, so <laughs> in this 1969 film, Star Streisand stars in the role of Dolly Levy, Dolly Levi, Dolly Levi, and performs the title song with Louis Armstrong and the Waiters. Dolly? Is it Dolly? It's Hello something. Dolly. Yes. Oh. Hello Wow, Dolly. good job. I love that movie. It's a good movie. Yes, that it's is. It's like a, a musical. Yeah, it's a award winning nineteen sixty four musical mm -hmm. is what it says. Wow, she knew that one. Good job. You do know your Barbara. Awesome. Okay. <laughs> Next question. They are the luckiest people in the world according to a song from the nineteen sixty four Broadway production and nineteen sixty eight film. Funny Girl. Oh, I remember that movie. What, what, what's the question, though? They are the luckiest people in the world, according to a song from the 1964 Broadway production and the 1968 film Funny Girl. Oh, I remember the movie, The Luckiest People in the World. Um, oh. It must be a It's a line, song? Is it a song? The yeah. Song? The, the, the answer must be in the song. Oh. Yeah. Oh, they probably know it too. Oh my God. Okay. People who need people. <gasps> people. People who need people. <laughs> oh, wow. Are the luckiest people. <laughs> Is that how it goes? <laughs> no. Oh, Not in that oh, tone. Like, okay. I, I don't know anything. She has a very high pitch. I couldn't possibly do her voice. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, how funny. Okay, in this 
1983 film, Barbara Streisand plays a Jewish woman in Eastern <gasps> Europe who, after her father's death, dresses as a man to attend a religious school. One of the songs from the soundtrack is, oh, the song. oh my God, the only reason I know this is because my friend Marie, okay, Papa, can you hear me? Uh -huh. Okay, Maria says that all the time. My best friend, Maria, she'll uh -huh. walk around like, Papa, can you hear me? And I'm like, why are you saying that? I didn't know it was from this movie. Okay, <laughs> yeah. what is it? What's the question? What's the answer? The song? You just, no, the, the no, thing? no. In this 1983 The name thing, of the movie. Yes. Okay, not the song. Barbara you just told me play, the name of the song. No, Barbara Streisand plays a Jewish woman. And one of the songs is in the movie is Papa, Can You Hear Me? So what movie is it? I do know the movie. Jesus. Okay, I gotta dust off my brain. Uh, 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 it's like right there. I know it. Starts with a Y. Gentle. Ah! There you I go. got it. Just <laughs> helpful hints. Helpful hints. Starts with a Y. Okay, I never saw this movie either. Um, but okay, I've heard of it. I've heard of I it. I bet everybody's out there. I know it. I know the answer. <laughs> In the song, she asks her father's forgiveness for her deception and expresses her love for him. Papa, can you hear me? I mm -hmm. guess. Okay. We have two more. You Don't Bring Me Flowers <gasps> is a debut by Barbara Streisand <laughs> and Neil Diamond. Lyrics include, you don't bring me, you don't sing me love song. What is missing? Oh. What, when I said, you don't bring me. Flowers. Yes. What is flowers? Oh, I thought I so said it says that. missing. Oh, I guess if you, you saw. You don't bring yeah. me flowers anymore. <laughs> you love to sing. That's so you I'm are just very joking. Good. Okay, that's you not, are, oh, that's that's not how I really sing. <laughs> you, that's my paper. You are really good though. I'm just. Wow. All right. Okay. Uh, yes. It is, and she sang with Neil Diamond. Yep. Okay. The last song in the Barbra Streisand category is this song was written by Bee Gees, Barry, <gasps> and Robin Gibbs and debuted on Streisand's Guilty album. Lyrics include, oh my god, I gotta sing again. I turn away from the wall, I stumble and I fall, but I give you, I, but I give you it all. I am a, finish it. What I'm saying. I turn away from the wall, I stumble and I fall, but I give you it all. I am a three letter words. Three words. I just bought the record too. I haven't heard it yet to, mm -hmm. to refresh my memory. <laughs> okay, tell me. Woman in Love. Ah, I guess that's where I it bet says. you anything when I play the record, that song's yeah, gonna that's gonna be in there. I turn away from the wall, I stumble and I fall. I stumble and fall, but I give you it all. I am a Woman in mm -hmm. Love. Uh, and Guilty became Streisand's best-selling album. I never knew that. Wow. wow. All right, so she's, you're pretty good in the, well, you can sing love, like her I for sure. Barbara, no, no, not for sure. <laughs> like, well, I mean, you know how to carry the tune and I, I know don't how even to know. Play. <laughs> I didn't know. I don't know the song, You Don't Bring Me Flowers anymore. I remember that song. My mom played it a lot. Okay, my turn. Okay. What's my category? Your category is... Double the fun. Double the fun. Words with double letters. Uh, okay. Okay. A modern nickname for this AM beverage is Java. What is coffee? That's oh, because two Fs. Yeah, two, that's okay. correct. What is coffee? What oh, is okay. Coffee? That's correct. That was good. Okay. Because this... the game is a hint of Java. Yeah. Okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> this favorite... Refrigerated dairy snack is often paired with pudding. crackers. Not pudding? I thought, okay, paired with cat. Oh, cheese. Yes. Cheese. Oh, okay. cheese. That is correct. Oh, okay. <laughs> I just saw the two D's in pudding and I was like, pudding. <laughs> okay. okay. Okay, this incredible edible food can be ordered hard boiled, soft boiled, or poached, among other ways. What is an egg? That that's is correct. Fair. These that's, are easy. That's easy peasy. Yeah. Okay. Yours were a lot harder. I would just like to say. <laughs> okay. Okay. Not an accountant, 
or a CPA, this person records financial transactions into a ledger or a program such as QuickBooks. What is a bookkeeper? That is correct. I you, yeah, I was gonna say if you don't know this one, <laughs> hmm. I am a bookkeeper. <laughs> I am the bookkeeper. I'm the keeper of the books. Yes. Okay. Okay. This is the, that has a lot of double letters in it. Bookkeeper mm -hmm. is like O O, and then is there two K's? Two K's, and then two E's. Two E's. Yeah. Bookkeeper. Two O's, two K's, and two E's. Yeah, that's a that's a lot of double letter. Okay. <laughs> okay. This is. The missing word from a phrase that 1970s CB radio owners used. What? This is the missing word from a phrase that 1970s CB radios owners used. Breaker, breaker, 10 4. I don't know. I was going to say 10 4. Oh, what is the answer? Missing word, missing word, buddy. I hear you loud and clear. Oh, oh, so the missing word, that means they want that uh -huh. word. So 10-4. Oh, so it's 10-4. That's the answer. What is 10-4? No. And then it says buddy. A missing word and then buddy. You should know this one. Good buddy. Yes. Oh, she, she okay, always says, okay. She always says little buddy. <laughs> this one is there good you go, buddy. Little buddy. So it's like 10-4, good buddy. Yeah. Oh, okay, Very okay, good. Okay. Oh, and good it has the two. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. <laughs> Oh, that took a lot to get to that. Answer. But she got it. Okay. There's another missing word. Okay. The missing word. Eater was eater, E A T E R, was invented in 1972 to help him to help trim oh. the edges of one's weed. yard. A weed, a weed eater. Weed? Yes. Yeah, weed. Weed. So that's the missing w word e weed. E the weed yeah. weed eater. Yeah. Weed whacker, weed eater, mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, that's my whole category? I think that's it. Oh, okay. Oh, I did all right. I you did, did very good. good. Oh, my double right. letters. All right. Uh -huh. I'm not the biggest speller either in the world, but I did pretty good with that. Okay. Your next category is going with the Barbara Streisand theme. Am I still singing? No. <laughs> oh, well, I don't you know. You don't want to hear me I singing. don't read these beforehand. <laughs> I just see the categories. World class divas. Oh. That's your category. World diva. class divas. So, I hope you know a lot of divas. Uh -huh. Okay. First question. She was the lead, the lead singer of The Supremes. <gasps> Diana Ross. Yes. Yes. That's all right. And it says she that she once, told, she once told The Guardian, I am an icon or a diva or a soul sister or a queen. Mm -hmm. She's all of that. Oh, oh yeah. Wow. She's a, yes. All right. Our next uh, world-class divas. This diva was dubbed the Queen of Soul and has not only earned the title, but has earned R-E-S-P-E-C-T. Um, okay. It's Aretha. Is yeah. it? Right? Yeah. I can never say her name right. Aretha Franklin. Aretha Franklin, yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay, so they're giving me facts about these divas. So, some of Aretha Franklin's requests are... Mm -hmm. She include 25000 cash payment as an advance before her performances, air ducts taped shut in her dressing room, and a hotel room never above the fifth floor. Wow. Those are her, -S -P -C -T. That's her diva. <laughs> those are her diva requests. Okay. Next question. This actress plays Alexis on Dynasty and is author Jackie Collins' sister. She's Jackie Collins' sister. Joan Collins. Yes. Who is Joan Collins? Yeah. Yes. Uh, Jackie Collins she, is the writer. Yeah. Right? Yes. Yeah, so you got it right. Joan she Collins. Says, Colin has stated that she was labeled a diva after requesting equal pay for her role on the show. Hmm. Hmm. And it says, uh, however, when Collins did leave the show, ratings slumped and her salary, her salary was renegotiated so that she would return. Uh -huh. So she basically said, look, watch. If I leave, I'm going to get paid more. She's a diva. She's a diva. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Next question. She is best known for performing I Will Survive and earn the title of the Disco Diva. Oh, my gosh. My favorite. Donna Summers. Yes? No. Is not? No. Donna, no, Donna Summers sang that other one. But this is... Wait, wait, wait. Don't tell me. I, I know who she is. Okay, I know the song. <laughs> I know, I will survive, that's right. Uh, oh, God. I will survive. 
I know who she is. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, Because uh. who'd you okay. say? No, no, not Dennis Summers. Uh, okay, one hint. Give me the first letter of her name. Her first name and her last name start with the same letter, and it's a G. Uh, 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 uh. G. Gloria? Yes, uh, Gloria who? G G G <laughs> yeah, it say it. Gainer? Is it. How do you Gloria? know that? Yes. Because I know her, but I confused her with the Donna mm -hmm. Summers, but oh. yeah, it's Gloria. It's, who is Gloria Gaynor? Gain her popular Gainer. rose and fell with the disco craze. That's why I said I know it. Yeah. I do I, know, I know the song. I didn't know who she, I didn't know she was the singer mm -hmm. of that song. All right, two more. Next one. She is the singer of the 1990s hit song Vision of Love, as well as 90 favorites Fantasy and Always Be My Baby. You've got to know her. The Guinness Book of Records labeled her the Songbird Supreme for her remarkable vocal range. What was the song? Always be my baby. You'll always be my baby. You know this song. The Vision of Love. She's a 90s hit song. She's the singer of the 90s hit song Vision of Love as well as 90s favorite Fantasy. Because you always be my baby. My baby. Oh uh, yeah, I know who that is. Um, the, she's a definite diva. Um, that's um, God damn. <laughs> brain. No pussy. No, brain. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, they always put kind of her with Whitney Houston. Her yeah, and Whitney Black. She's the one with the beautiful voice. Um, well, Whitney Houston has a beautiful voice too. Oh, I love Whitney Houston. But I'm they always kind of like were going like. You mean like they put her in the same category or? Yeah. Like she's she's in a diva category, just like Whitney oh. Houston. And her um, name starts with an M. Yeah, Mariah. Sorry. See, <laughs> Mariah Carey. I knew it. This knew diva it. protects her voice by sleeping with twenty humidifiers in her room. Hmm. Wow. <laughs> okay. Twenty is yeah. All right. Last one. A Broadway and screen actress, she is the author of Postcards from the Road and former wife of George Papard. Huh? Yeah, I don't... I, a Broadway and screen actress, uh -huh. she is the author of Postcards from the Road and former wife of George Papard. Huh. I don't know this person. I don't... What's well, the name? What, okay, what's the name that starts... The it starts with an E. Who is, maybe some of you out there know, who is Elizabeth Ashley? Um, do you know that person? I don't know. I don't maybe know. I should have known. I maybe know. I do, but no, it doesn't it ring says, a bell. It says, when interviewed by Slant Magazine, this was noted. One expects her to exude the aura of a grand diva when she's off the stage. But she was nothing short of unpretentious as well as charming, loquacious, and prone to refreshing displays of self-deprecation. Deprecation. Oh. I have no. Okay. Was that it? Yeah. I don't know that person. But okay. that's your no, diva. You so you pretty much got all of them except for the last one. I just one. had to, dust, I you just had had to, to dust like get my... little little helpful hints, <laughs> and then you get it. All right. Okay. Make... Your category is. What's my category? Rad 1980s inventions. <gasps> 1980s. Yes. How fun. <laughs> yes, I'm excited. Okay. That's my whole... Yeah. Okay, let's go. 1980s. I probably don't know. I know. Okay, I'm going to know. I can... I got okay. It. I can't believe it's not butter. this dairy product. Butter. I can't believe it's not butter. <laughs> That's right. I love butter. Yeah. That's a slow... I can't believe it's Do not Do you remember who, came, who did that commercial? I can't believe it, it's not butter, the one with the hair. I can't believe it's not butter. No, I don't. It's a male. Oh, I don't know who is... With it. wind in his hair. Fabio. Oh, really? He did. You remember? He did a, a oh. Can't Believe It's Not Butter. Oh, my God. <laughs> Fabio. Actually, everybody they loved that. Toast. Everybody they loved, toast. loved that commercial. It's not butter. Okay, next one. Mm -hmm. This transdermal invention to help with quitting smoking was invented in 1984. A patch. The that is cigarette, correct. The, the nicotine patch. That is correct. Oh, good. It says the invention was patented in 1985, but only became available by prescription in 1992. Oh, wow. Well, that took a while. Yeah. That took a while. Like, oh, yeah, like seven years. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay. And this invention that succeeded the 
The cassette tape was developed in the 1980s. What was after the, the cassette? Oh, uh, um, a CD. That's the, correct. The silver, yeah. the CD. Okay. CD or compact disc. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. CD. Yes. Got that one. In 1982, an artificial and temporary replacement for this organ was invented to keep patients alive while they awaited a transplant. I, I want to say like a heart valve. Was it the whole heart or just the valve? The heart. Of, which one is it? I don't, <laughs> I don't think they've made a whole heart. 1982, an artificial and temporary replacement for this organ, so it's an oh. organ. Tells you your heart. Okay, your heart. Um, Correct. Um, okay, the you whole heart. Right. The whole heart. heart. Oh, yes. okay. Just think, really? organ. They have a it's whole organ. replacement heart. Like you don't need. That was in 1982. But it's only like a temporary kind of thing. No, a replacement. Hmm. Yeah, a replacement. Hmm. Oh. It says temporary replacement for this organ was invented to keep patients alive while they awaited a transplant oh okay mm. so they eventually need another yeah. heart okay 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 wow. tab remember tab diet Cola. soda yes was the immediate predecessor to this popular diet soda diet coke diet coke yes is correct very good very my good. dad drank everybody drank tab. but it continued to Get sell tab, tab until uh until it was retired in 2020 yeah Tab soda does not. It says is. here, twenty twenty, they retired. Where? I don't know. How? I haven't seen that since I was uh, well, like Please. nineteen. I was a little girl. Everybody. Well, I guess everybody replaced it with diet coke. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. Okay, and for the last one. Okay. Oh wait, you have a fight. You have a, a bonus, an extra bonus. Oh, okay, that's so for this one. The, for all of them. Okay. In so the this. Comment okay. Section. Okay. Okay. Well, what's my last? The one? The last one is. This American personal computer company founded in 1982 was at one time one of the largest PC suppliers. Its name stands for Compatibility and Quality. Compatibility and Quality. Oh, okay, so in my mind it's, it's American like personal Apple computer. or Dell or Microsoft. A personal computer, I want to get a PC. When I bought my first... We got a Dell computer. It was founded in 1982. It was at one time one of the largest PC suppliers. Its name stands for compatibility and quality. Compatibility. So the name, it has... Compact? Correct. Because compatibility and quality. Yes. Compact? Yes. That was the compact, name of that? Yeah. Oh my God. That, that was, was a long time ago. She got it right. Oh Yay. wow. Compact. Well, compatibility and quality. Oh, compact. Okay. Okay. So okay, you want to you yeah, read the you want to read the last question mm -hmm. for? But I'm not gonna give an answer. You guys give the answer in your mm -hmm. um in the comments. In the Let's comment see. What's section. What's the final jeopardy? Final jeopardy. Iraq invaded this country in 1990. Oh, I know that. Iraq. Well, I see the answer too. <laughs> <laughs> but Iraq invaded this country in 1990. So if you. Uh, know the answer, put it in the comment section, and we'll give you a thumbs up if you got it right, okay? So, thanks for coming to Jeopardy today. You got to hear Cynthia Yay. sing. <laughs> she does amazing karaoke. We gotta well, figure if, out I, how if to... you really hear me sing. Yeah, she can sing. <laughs> she can sing. And this is me. Next up is Cynthia. And I'll turn the record over. Next up is Cynthia. I do not <laughs> sing at all. She's a very good singer. So, thank you guys for joining us today. Yeah. Bye -bye. I'll see you soon. Bye. Put your comment in. Bye.